I did read something interesting, Megan, that you said after this. You said that this has made you rethink some of your views about uh, hate speech or free speech or this, uh, what I consider to be the leftist culture of political correctness and identity politics. What hasn't made you rethought and how so? So, I mean, I've actually been, to be fair, I've been thinking about this for a while and sort of rethinking my perspectives about, you know, dogma, um, because I consider this new transgender trend to be about dogma. You're only allowed to have certain opinions. You have to say certain, certain things. Otherwise, you're considered a bigot. And I sort of also started to look at the ways that I saw that happening on the left and, you know, to be honest, in feminism as well, and just sort of started becoming interested in having more diverse conversations with more diverse people. And it doesn't mean that I'm personally giving up my principles, but I don't want to dismiss people who are different than me, who have different ideas than me, who, you know, see society in a different way, who have different politics. And I have been engaging those conversations with people and I find it really exciting and interesting to be honest, you know, like I do believe in free speech and I have always believed in free speech, but I think recently this has made me start thinking about it a little more. Um, in general, I think people should be able to say what they want. I've always kind of believed that. Um, I get called all sorts of horrible things online. It's the internet, you know, like I'm a public figure. I'm on Twitter. People are going to say mean things. I get violent threats all the time. Twitter has never done anything about the death threats that people send me on Twitter constantly. It doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't hurt my feelings if people disagree with me. It doesn't hurt my feelings if people hate me. You know, people can't, you can't force people to be nice to you. You can't force people to behave in the way that you want them to behave or to see you in the way that you want to be seen. And this is what the transgender movement is trying to do, right? To force people to use the, their preferred language, you know, to force people to see men as women, even though they're clearly not women, um, and, you know, and to shut down any conversations, any questions, any kind of discourse that they don't like and don't want to hear about. And it's really, I mean, I, I hope that people support me, you know, like I had, you know, almost like 25,000 followers on Twitter. I didn't say anything hateful. The fact that I was banned is completely unfair. It's based on a rule that they invented after my tweet and didn't inform anyone about. Right. Um, but, you know, beyond that, people should be really concerned that take Twitter. Twitter is dictating what we're allowed to say and what we're allowed to talk about. Right. Well, it's, it's, it's censorship, essentially. It reminds me of George Orwell's 1984, where they're trying to yep. force people to say what the government wants them to say, or in this case, what the liberal ideology wants them to say, and not allowing them to have a discussion for fear that people will come to their own conclusions and not agree with the ideology that the left wants them to.